It's hard because the brain has a negativity bias. Remember, the amygdala is down here. Down, this all down here is trying to get us safe. Safe enough so we can thrive from the higher centers. But if we're not safe enough, we kind of stay down here and keep our guard up. So it's hard. Your brain wants to see what's wrong. It wants to be pulled. And for those who are not familiar with conscious discipline, that's why we have in uh, one of our structures is the kindness tree. Not to catch them being good, not to do anything, but keep us, the structures try to help us and the children shift against that negativity bias and focus on the kindness in the classroom, which is hard for all of us because one person over here is thumping someone with the elbow, but one person over here just picked up someone's pencil and handed it to them. Which one are we going to see if we're not conscious? That one. And here's where we go. And then we train everybody in the room to focus on what people are doing wrong. And it's natural to do it. So we have to then go, this happened, that happened, and we're going to, because we have a kindness tree, and we're, we're looking for it every day, we've made our commitment, we're finding it, it goes like this. <coughs> okay, I see it. <laughs> so for those who've gotten deeper into conscious discipline, those structures aren't there just for the children. They're to help us if we use them appropriately to stay in alignment but a lot of people say we're just trying to catch them being good and turn it into some other way of giving them a gummy bear